What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another RAM update for you guys. Um, what we're going to be doing today is installing a Motofab 2.5 inch leveling kit on my 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn Night Edition. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you'd know that I installed this exact leveling kit on my old Ram, my 2019 Ram, and uh, I did a step-by-step -step install video for you guys, so I will link that video at the end of this video if you want a step-by-step how-to install video on this leveling kit. But today, we're gonna get the truck in the shop, up on the hoist, and knock this one out because I have a lot of content coming for this truck. So basically, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a before and after, like a walk around of the truck before the two and a half inch leveling kit and after the leveling kit goes on and basically do a full review on this leveling kit from Motofab. I will leave a link in the description below on where you can pick up this exact leveling kit. I highly recommend Motofab leveling kits. I've ran a bunch of them now and uh, I really like the company. They're a very reputable company and they have a great product. I didn't have any issues with the Motofab kit on my last 2019 Ram. So we're gonna pull the truck in the shop, get it up on the hoist and get started with this install guys. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so we got the truck up on the lift now. We're going to loosen up these nuts here. Down here. The lower strut bolt we got to take out. The three strut tower bolts or nuts we got to loosen up up there. Take the caliper off and uh, the strut will come right out. So we're also going to undo the sway bar and let that hang so that you can drop the whole lower control arm and get the strut right out of here. And just in case you guys were wondering, this is exactly why I'm doing the two and a half inch level so that it doesn't rub anymore with the bigger tires that I put on here. You can see it was rubbing so good it rubbed the push pin right out of there. So that's not good. Alright guys, so this is the kit we're going with. It's the Motofab two and a half inch leveling kit. There's the part number. I will leave a link in the description below on where you guys can get this from. So here we have one spacer, two and a half inches thick. This just sits right on top of the strut. We have our hardware and the other spacer. All right guys, so we got the left side done. We got the strut spacer up here, everything's bolted down. And as you can see here, the angle on the upper and lower control arms are pretty bad, but if you go anything more than a two and a half inch lift, you will need to replace your upper control arms. But um, you can see they're pretty much maxed out with the two and a half inch kit. But here's proof that the two and a half inch kit does work. I know there's a lot of talk online saying that they won't, but there they are. They are a pain in the butt to get the strut back up in here, but you just have to do a lot of prying on the lower control arm and, and use a lot of leverage to get that um, strut back in there. But as you can see here, we're all done and we're gonna get the wheels put on the truck and then uh, take it for an alignment. And there we have it guys, two and a half inch Motofab lift installed on my 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn. What do you guys think? Comment down below, let me know your thoughts. It is amazing what a two and a half inch leveling kit can do for a truck. I mean, as you guys can see in the video here, the front is now level with the rear. We have the same gap in the rear as we do in the front. Um, they say two inch leveling kits are 100% level, but I still am a firm believer in a uh, two and a half inch kit in the front gives you the perfectly level look. Uh, might be a tad bit higher in the front, but honestly, I kind of like that look a little bit better than just being a little bit further down on the front. So yeah, there we have it. Two and a half inch Motofab leveling kit installed. As you can see up here, you can't even tell because the two and a half inch puck goes in this uh, under here. And then other than that, you can't tell any difference at all. Looks factory underneath there. You don't have to extend any brake lines or any ABS lines, nothing. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I explained what tires I'm running on this truck uh, and what spacers. These came off my 2019 Ram. Uh, these are the BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires. Uh, they are 285 60 20s. And I have a two inch wheel spacer all the way around the truck. That's why it gives it more of that aggressive look. As you can see, the tires stick out of the fenders just a little bit. I just love the way that looks. 
it makes it look a lot more aggressive with the two inch spacers on there. So yeah, that basically does it for the two and a half inch Motofab leveling kit install. This kit will fit on any 2019 and newer Ram 1500 4x4. It has to be a four wheel drive truck for this part number to fit. They do have other part numbers for two wheel drive applications. So make sure you click the link in the description below and go to Motofab's website and order a kit up yourself. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is my second kit I've bought from them and I absolutely love them. I had 20,000 miles on my 2019 Ram and had zero issues with the leveling kit after 20,000 miles, not one issue at all. So um, I'm a firm believer in these Motofab leveling kits and that's why I ran it on my 20. So now what we have to do is we have to take it to my local bell tire and they're gonna do an alignment because my camber is off in the front. As you can see, you might not be able to tell very much in the camera, but if I get down here, my camber is basically negative or that'd be positive. Too much positive camber, I believe. I don't know, positive or negative, I'm not sure. But basically I need to get an alignment so that my tires wear correctly. But other than that, we're pretty much set, guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna head home, it's late. Um, bell tire is actually closed so we're gonna pick the camera back up tomorrow morning I have an appointment with them in the morning and we're gonna get the truck aligned I will pick up the camera once I get there and finish off the vlog. So I just got the bell tire Getting my alignment done as you can see here. They have two alignment racks And I believe this one here on the right is the one that doesn't touch the rim It grabs the tire and hopefully we won't have any issues uh, scratching new wheels So we're gonna go inside and have them hook it up. All right guys, so we just got the alignment done I don't know if you can see here but up top is the before measurements, and then down here is the after. As you can see, the left side was off pretty bad, and the right side wasn't off too much, but he went ahead and corrected it. All right guys, so we just left Bell Tire, and the road that I'm testing this on isn't very straight or very smooth. As you can see, there's tons of potholes and, and bumps in the road, but for the most part, the wheel seems to be straight. The truck seems to be tracking straight. The alignment seems to be good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Once I get it on a smooth road, I'll be able to you know, go no hands and make sure the truck goes straight down the road and make sure my wheel's straight. But I can already tell the wheel's dead center, um, it, obviously this road has a big crown in it, so it's a hard road to test on, but I can already tell that it's not pulling to the right or to the left. It's going straight down Broadway, so I'm happy with that. Like I said, the alignment wasn't bad. It really didn't need it. It was kind of a waste of $90. The only reason I did it was because I want my tires to, to wear evenly. I also wanted to mention to you guys that the truck rides great with the two and a half inch motofab leveling kit on here shout out to motofab lifts if you guys are in the market for a leveling kit look no further than motofab leveling kits i will leave a link in the description below on which kit i used on my truck and i will also provide the video at the end of this video um, on the how to install step by step install video that i did on my 19 ram um, i'll leave that at the end of this video for you guys to follow and if you follow my video my step-by-step -step install video you guys will be able to do this by yourself in the garage no problem you do not have to take it to a shop to install it as long as you have a couple tools and a jack you, you'll be fine so make sure you guys go check out that video at the end of this video but yeah overall i'm very happy with how the truck rides it's very smooth it's almost like i didn't even lift it or level it like the truck rides and drives just like it did stock but that's basically going to do it for today's video guys if you like the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button i've got a lot of content coming for the ram stay tuned for the next video on the ram guys it's a pretty big update I have all my parts just came in the other day, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, I think you guys are gonna love it. I have a lot planned for this truck, and I haven't even done my full review, but can you guys check out that big 12 inch screen? God, I love that thing. That's one of the best things Ram could have done is this big 12 inch Uconnect screen here. I absolutely love it. I know it's been out you know, for a year now, but I finally have one in my truck and I love it. But uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'll be doing a full review on this truck, how much I paid for it, etc. But you're not gonna wanna miss the next video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. That's gonna do it for today, folks. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.